Hello, my dear friends. Today we're going to continue uh, our painting with the uh, hibiscus flower and the hummingbird. But first, I want to share with you my special trick uh, that gave me. Hello, my dear friends. Oh, Today I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me switch uh, off the sound. With the uh, hibiscus flower and the hummingbird. I had my speakers on, sorry about that. Uh, I wanted to share with you my trick uh, that's giving me opportunity, ability to delay brush cleaning. Uh, I wanted to share with you this uh, way before, but somehow I forgot about it. Uh, usually, uh, when uh, you have some uh, time you you know you have to run somewhere for example your kid just woke up uh, earlier than you expected and you have paint on it you have no time to clean your brushes uh, what possible to do just to take the uh, pipe it can be dry or it can be wet if it's dry put a little bit of water like this now it's wet put here your brush like this and put it to the plastic bag that's it at this way your brush will never get in dry with acrylic on it and it will be safe and possible to clean when you will have time for it right mm. usually I'm cleaning uh, right after I finishing the process but uh, for example, yesterday I couldn't do that because um, my uh, younger one woke up earlier than I expected. Today we will continue to work with the flower. Let's see. I had no time to complete it uh, yesterday evening I was too busy because uh, hopefully you checked uh, I made a new tutorial about uh, easy way to paint a rose with a watercolor I'm going to blend a little bit right uh, while this uh, paint still wet also, what I like to use, I like to use the uh, wet wipes, but also I like to use a toilet paper. Why it's not the uh, napkins, usual one? Because toilet paper, softer, it's better uh, cleaning brushes. And uh, after all, I tried a uh, different kind of uh, napkins. But uh, I find out the toilet paper uh, have the best quality uh, to clean and help to me with my paintings. I think this is white because it's have no number. And I will blend it. So yesterday evening I was busy with my rose. Uh, and uh, I really like to spend time, you know, on um, paint by numbers and for my own paintings. And uh, I'm absolutely sure, just sure about it. It's giving, uh, it's improving skill a lot. Even if um, painting of your own not really successful, I mean, of course you have a practice right lots of practice actually to make everything accurate and uh, nicely done but uh, this is also painting practice don't think about it uh, as uh, about you know uh, kids hobby yes kids also like to paint by numbers and uh, my uh, kids working with it as well but pictures there much more simple here we have uh, color mixing we have a blending 
We have lots and lots of uh, really artist techniques. And uh, when you will complete, for example, one or two paint by numbers, you will find surprisingly that your skill of normal painting really getting better and better. This is the end of flower, so here it's already finished uh, background, so here I have to be really accurate. I like the quality of uh, dimension, dimensions uh, paints, it's a uh, soft looking, very thin, giving absolutely fantastic finish. It depends, if you don't like this matte finish, you can use, uh, after your work is done, you can use uh, the uh, glossy varnish. But uh, also, all mistakes will be more visible if you will put the glossy varnish on top of it. I don't know why, actually, but it's just more visible. I saw a lots of uh, complete completed paintings of uh, hummingbird. This one because it's really very very popular. And to be honest, it was the um, first painting that uh, caught my attention when I started to interesting about uh, what kind of paints by number I have around me. Here it's very popular. Here we have lots of different uh, fabrics and uh, yeah, lots of Chinese one, Chinese kids. I don't really fun of it, but sometimes mm, paintings are very interesting they have. This is J color. And uh, I have a little bit of it. Let's see if I still have it. Yeah. I'm not mixing a lot. See? It's just a tiny amount. Because J is almost completed here. Mm, this is J. This uh, bluish violet. So many beautiful shades here. You know, my eyes just, <laughs> just happy to work with it. Uh, personally, I don't really like a pink in uh, paintings. Uh, but when uh, I'm saying pink, I mean, you know, red, clear red, uh, like uh, scarlet red, plus white. Those kind of pink. Uh, it's more like this. This is a real pink. But this one, close to it, the next one, it's uh, more fuchsia, right? Fuchsia it's calling the shade. Um, in watercolor it's calling Mother Lake red, it's a different shade. And this kind of reds I just adore. I, I think, you know, it's so fresh looking, it's so... It's have a touch and the influence of uh, spring and I really missing spring now. Here we have uh, winter now. And it's even not a normal winter anymore because it's the second day. Rain falling on the street. That's it, here we're done. And here I have a small area of number P. I haven't uh, mixed it yet. And number P, it, uh, it's a 4 plus 10. 4 plus 10. 10, it's a deep violet. Ooh, it's gonna be really, really dark. Red plus violet. Look, today I'm working on a palette. Again, you have a different ways to work with your own uh, paint by number kit. You can mix a lots of amount of um, 
shades you need in a future or you can mix just a little amount on a palette. This is my favorite kind of palettes to work with paint by numbers because it's very uh, small one. I have a bigger one. Let me demonstrate. Uh, I still didn't clean it uh, after uh, yesterday evening I painted uh, Rose and some other paintings, um, but you can see the size, right? It's a big one, usual one, and this is a small one. And this kind of palettes are really, really helpful, really useful. I like to work with it. You know, it's so... <laughs> it's just the same size as my hand. So nice to work with it. Okay, here we're done. Ah, and look at it. It's a P as well. It's very, very dark. Let's complete it then, right? Because we're just working with this uh, shade. Mm, look, I'm not cleaning brush. I demonstrated this technique before when we were painting uh, asters. Uh, it was a Mosfa paint by number. You can check on my... Um, stream list uh, I just trying to remove as much paint as I can from my brush now it still can paint with red but uh, on a brush it's almost nothing and now I just putting brush inside and that's it brush going on it all around but not mixing in a container this uh, way you can not uh, clean your brush with water don't uh, you know you don't need to waste your time on it because just count if uh, each cleaning brush taking about 10 seconds and you will clean your brush each time after each shade right and we have a uh, lots of uh, small areas here that's mean you will spend many 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 uh, times of 10 seconds and in the end it will be a really long time not for painting but for just cleaning so I decided uh, when it's possible not to clean my brush at all, just to go with the brush inside, but not uh, you know not mix, not don't try to take more. Just put in and out, and you will have enough um, paint on your brush to mix on palette. And again, it's just the same technique as we're using with the normal paintings. I'm mixing on palette, just the same. Uh, and in my view, you know, paint by numbers um, is just another kind of education, especially for adults. It's uh, so nice. You don't need to draw the boring cubes. <laughs> Here, uh, at the moment, I'm running the art school for adults as well. <coughs> and yes, they have, you know, my students have to draw the cube with a pencil. Because if you following, if you mm, following, following the, um, it's a P again. If you following the classical way, is it really so dark? Yes, it is. Hmm, I didn't notice. If you following the classical way of uh, educational process for painting uh, you have to know how to paint easy shapes it's a cube it's a ball uh, or uh, how it's called yeah 
sphere, probably. I don't know the proper word for it. Mm, I have to mix a little bit more. Look, again, I have this shade on brush, but I just clean it a little bit, put brush in, that's it, put in and out. Brush, the same size, of course, I'm using, and here and here. So amount of color will be uh, almost the same. I mean, not in milligrams, but uh, in general the same. So it's the same 50-50. If you want to be absolutely sure about the amount of uh, paint you're mixing for shade you need, then you can use a dispenser. Uh, I demonstrated how to work with a dispenser. Dispenser I'm usually um, using for background mix because here it's need a lot of uh, mixed shade. Uh, let me check if we have this uh, dark pink more. It's not a dark pink, dark, dark red. This shade on a board looking as a um, this kind of fabric not silkish, opposite to silkish, it's a velvet. So it's a velvet finish. Especially this one, the dark, dark uh, purple one, really looking as a fabric. That's it. I can't see P sign. Oh no, I find uh, another. <laughs> it's like a puzzle, you know. Mm, that's it. I just like to see how flower going step by step from nothing to complete flower. When you're working by yourself, try not to put any shades on your work. And if you have um, chance to work on easel, uh, it's of course better to use uh, more than uh, on a table because uh, it's more healthy. I have an easel uh, for big one for big uh, paints and the table one for paint by numbers, but uh, it's just not really um, uh, nice to make a video on it because it's have an angle, you know. <clears throat> but if you are working uh, with easel, um, it's giving better rest for your back, for your neck as well. It's giving better position for your hand of course, uh, and you will have there a shelf. It's number two, and uh, I want to <coughs> mix here. So light shade, hmm. number two, it's uh, light, light pink here. If it's a light pink and these shades have a really big gap between, I'm going to mix this number two with a zigzag here. This is 2 and this is uh, F. I'll take a bit of F and just mix with the uh, zigzag. Zigzag way of blending. Very nice and smooth looking, right? That's it. When you're working uh, with an easel, uh, your painting will be just in front of you, you know, uh, with a different angle, mm, with a different position. First, uh, you will better see because the distance between your eyes... Actually, it's a very um, important question and even I wanted to... I wanted to show you on a paper how important it is. 
Imagine this is the human, right? This is a head, this is a body, and the human sitting. Is it clear enough? I don't know if it's visible enough for you. <clears throat> yeah, this is a better one. So, this is a human sitting, and imagine this is a table, right? And a painting just laying on a table. This is the distance between eyes and areas of work. And this is a different, see, different everywhere. So you're going to uh, see worse details here and better here. If you're working with an easel, a normal one, big one, or it's a table one, table easel, it's usually have like 30 degrees, like this. This is a back, not a back, this is a side view of a table easel, right? And uh, this is the painting and look this is eyes right it's almost the same distance to every part of your painting hopefully it's visible enough for you so if you have ability to get a table easel to work with it i really recommend it and you don't, you will not um, curve your neck too much, uh, as much as you're working uh, when you're painting on table. It's more visible, it's more use, it's, of course, it's a shelf for um, paintings and brush and... Uh, let me blend a little bit here. <coughs> And what I love about it, I can paint in uh, in my bed sometimes when uh, I'm getting sick. And with this weather, you know, on the street, it's so easy nowadays <laughs> to get cold. Uh, I'm going to blend here a little bit, like this. It's possible to sit in a bed and paint same time. Very pretty, very nice looking. Guys, don't be shy to ask if you have any questions uh, in our chart because I can see it now. I have a screen in front of me, so if you have any questions, um, I can answer to you. And also remember, all my streams will stay on my channel. I will not remove it from it uh, from the channel. So at any time you need to ask me anything about uh, paint by numbers or any other my paintings, you're welcome. I will try my best to help you with any questions. I think it's a curly petal here. Let me check. Yeah, see, this is the part we don't need to blend. This is white one. I even want to create it more sharp. Very, very sharp, very contrasted. Next one, it's a pink. Yes, it's a pink. I took now two shades on my brush. It's a white, it's already here on the brush, and I just put, let me demonstrate to you, I will do all the same to make it visible for you, because it's uh, the technique calling free blending on the canvas, but today it's gonna be free blending on the board. Take a little bit of white, right? And now, don't clean your brush, don't do anything, just 
go inside and took a little amount of next color. It's almost um, one stroke technique. But for one stroke, we have to work with palette and uh, put shades together there on palette. And then you're just uh, taking uh, shades from there. We're not making now one stroke technique, really. But it's just a free blending and it's almost... The how um, how we painting the normal oil paintings, just a normal oil painting. Sometimes you take one or two or even more shades with your brush, or actually I better like uh, palette knives. Here I also want to blend this uh, line, sharp line between these two colors, what I'm doing with this technique. I'm taking a little amount of pink and a little amount of F. Just go in and out and mixing everything on the... I will add a bit of pink. That's it. Very, very smooth. I want to put more pink to create it more light and airy. You're able to work with this uh, shades on your working area till colors will start to get dry until this moment when it's still wet you can mix change it you know blend it blur it whatever you want to do with them that's it very nice uh, shape very beautiful one here is a little bit of f area and i will blend it see blend it to color number three without any brush cleaning this is k do i have it really no i don't think so it's a three plus four mm, no i didn't mix these two together and seems like I don't need a lot of this shade because look, the flower almost done, right? Let's count how many this shade we actually need. Do we need to mix it in a container or palette is enough? Mm. And uh, I'm going to have little areas of pink here, here and here. This is the buds of uh, flower. Uh, here, here, but I can't see, I can see small area of K here and a little bit of uh, on this bud. So I'm not going to mix this shade, 3 plus 4, I'm not going to mix it in a container, you know why we will do if we have just to mix a little bit that's it I mixed this small amount and now I can put it here mm -hmm. it's just a slightly more Violet red, that's it. Mm -hmm. And uh, what do you think? Do we have to blend it here? Hmm? I think yes. 
I will clean my brush now and I want to take wet napkins uh, wet wipes sorry let's clean it let's take more number three this dark violet shade I put it on a border between these two shades and now I take a little amount of number K put it as well it's a technique uh, that calling zigzag but I will use it with another technique which is dry brush this is dry brush it's not wet one and I'm just brushing blending in I want to put a little bit more violet and dry brush again and a little bit more and dry brush again blend 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 that's it um, after this area will be completely dry I will check if I will need another layer of blending and this is number F and I also going to blend it with a number K very easy that's it smooth and nicely looking petal you have to wait until this area will completely dry because uh, I think now it's blinking right for you I have a very very um, uh, very bright light uh, above my table because uh, I want you to see absolutely clear what I'm actually doing when I just uh, started to paint and I couldn't find any information about paint by numbers it was about uh, three hours ago my son was uh, one years old I really couldn't find any information about what this uh, it's just one area of red that's it uh, that's it here a little bit more it's F and number four I was dreaming to find uh, anything video or uh, any other ways how to learn how to work better with it uh, I found a community in my city where people were um, discussing about this kind of hobby but I was always looking for you know better techniques uh, I couldn't find any so I started to make my own techniques how to work with the paint by numbers so all my uh, techniques uh, like uh, it's number cool it's probably probably good one it's a five plus seven yeah this cool is green eight is green green F color is violet my blending techniques uh, middle shade zigzag uh, it's my own and uh, over painting technique this is uh, from instruction of my previous uh, previous dimension kit I was painting some flowers oh, isn't it yes it's just a little bit of red details here one two three yep let's create this one and uh, look there is also K area here Yeah. 
I just hope you know it will help to you uh, to create not the by n by number looking uh, piece of arts, but uh, really masterpieces, art pieces, because if you just using a bit of blending, just a little bit, for example, only for background, it's dramatically. I'm back. It's just some internet issue. If you just, you know, uh, making a little bit of blend and blur, just a little, uh, for example, just for background, it's dramatically changing the final view of your uh, art and really giving uh, artist looking view. That's it. We blend it here. It's number A. I have it mixed. It's a light pink. So probably I don't need to blend it in. Here. I will check after, you know. Uh, I like when uh, some time have passed. For example, half day. Uh, before I will um, decide do I need another blend layer or uh, do I need to create better detailing somewhere right uh, I like when uh, some time passed because uh, when you're working on the details especially close to your painting you're losing the fresh uh, fresh look this kind of fresh look when you can uh, clearly see all mistakes or uh, details you have to work with. When I'm uh, working with my own paintings, it's just the same. I'm usually making a break after each 30 minutes, 40 minutes. Here this is a clear white and I'm only blending to the pink but not blending to the red. I think it will look more realistic and better. And here this is a also white area. I missed it. I missed it. I will paint it now. It's an edge of petal here. So I don't need to blend a lot. That's it. What do you think? Is it good looking? Very, very, very nice. Uh, so what? Is it flower done? A little bit of K here. And just a little. I will mix a bit more on palette. That's it. And here it's going to be really tiny details. It's the center of our flower. Let me show you. This is the center of our flower and uh, I will do it in the end. You know, I will check first. Do I need any additional uh, blend layer here in the middle of the flower and if uh, I will be happy with the result in the evening I will uh, maybe tomorrow I will be painting this uh, uh, circle uh, small circles and uh, I don't know the proper English word in botanical <laughs> here What else? What else? Mm, we have here a bud with number four. So it's going to be very, very dark. Very 
juicy red would be nice you know to have this kind of lipstick look just look at this color adorable it's even you know in a um, container it's looking uh, as a nail polish and the color it's just making me crazy ah so nice very nice contrast between um soft pastel blue background and uh, this kind of absolutely look it's calling saturation i think so this uh, color have a lot of saturation inside and um, that's why I like uh, this kind of um, paint by numbers because it have a very nice quality of every ingredients and you know it's the same as a cooking if you put if all ingredients inside of your uh, delicious food is uh, have a good quality right you probably going to have something really yummy in the end but if uh, ingredients is so so you doubt about it probably uh, the final result can be not uh, same tasty right dimensions uh, not so cheap <coughs> I mean uh, Chinese kits can be cheaper much cheaper especially if you will uh, order it uh, from Aliexpress from China but the quality of uh, paints are really different and sometimes the shades are really wrong for example by the way i can tell you uh, everyone knows uh, paint by number chinese kids calling uh, paint boy at least here the trademark calling paint boy but as i know as i knew in the end it's lots of fabrics that making the same label uh, like four or five fabrics making the same label but uh, the quality really difference between them you never know uh, what painting you are going to have I have uh, my own top sellers that uh, working with a uh, let's say good fabrics right uh, who checking the quality making control about uh, them i'm planning to make some reviews first i really you know i need time for it because uh, sometimes especially for some experiments experiments with the mixing uh, for training i'm too greedy to use uh, cheaper or dimensions i like them i love them both but um, sometimes i'm i can be a little bit scary especially with a shipper shipper have another type of uh, finish mm, they have glossy finish because they already put the um, varnish inside of uh, paints they mixing varnish and paints together so the finish there glossy very beautiful very beautiful oh. if you guys want to know what we're gonna have in the future let me show you let me share with you this is a shipper paint by number so we're going to paint this kind of peonies, cherries, 
it's just lovely, right? I just got it, was waiting for it uh, for about three weeks to get the uh, this kit. Result different, true dimensions and uh, cheaper, very, very different uh, fabrics uh, and even the size, um, this one smaller, cheaper, bigger. Uh, what paint I have? It's number three. We also will check how it will going, right? Because there, the shipper, uh, it's a lot of work uh, with the blending as well for cherries. You saw cherries there really wants to be smooth with the glossy sides. Uh, we will work with it. We will check how it's going together. It's just you know I'm sharing with my with with you uh, my future plans. <laughs> what do you think? Is it interesting painting? Will be. I saved now. Uh, I saved cheaper uh, for springtime because in my view it's very very spring composition, spring uh, still life. My favorite kind of paintings actually uh, still lifes, flowers or uh, still lifes. I also like um, landscapes. Mm, I have a number three here. I want a little bit of blending, not a lot. Blend uh, don't needs everywhere. Be careful with with it, you know, because uh, if painting looking too smooth, it's looking not natural. Especially important to keep sharp borders when you have the natural lines of pebbles. This is important. And there is uh, number two here. Just, you know, small strokes. Just do small strokes. Sometimes people uh, scare scare it to go on uh, the border of areas don't be scared you know don't be scared it's uh, not the rule you can change it a little bit if you like and even colors Sometimes I'm changing. That's it. This piece of... Uh, it's a P. I don't remember P. I think it's a green. Yeah, it's green. It's number... No. Uh, color P. It's for... Mm, this is a dark, dark violet plus red. Let's take it. Mix it on palette. See, and here dark, dark area, the darkest here, the darkest color here. When I got my first uh, dimensions kit, it was a sunflowers, my previous one. Uh, I was surprised there was no green at all <laughs> in containers there was no green it was a blue and yellow and i had to mix every green area there imagine that you can check how it was going because uh, i have um, tutorials demonstrating tutorials on my channel I'm working there with the sunflowers. It was my first, uh, I mean absolutely mine. Before I was working with the dimensions, but it was two paint by numbers kit, 
kits that I got after my sister. She couldn't complete it, so she bring it to me and told me, complete it somehow. So I was working, but not from the start. Uh, I was making it till the end. What else? What? Oh, I forgot here number cool. Look, it's a blue. Yeah, it's a blue. I will complete it uh, in this. Uh, I don't know. Maybe to complete it now. Number cool. It's five plus seven. Five and seven. Really? Hmm. You know what? Ah, yeah, it's a green leaf. It's this area. This blue I already done. Uh, what else we can do with the rats before we will close it till the end? Ah, I see here. See, it's another petal. It's very, very bright. Very, very, yeah, this one. Let me show you in a bigger size, this area, this petal, it's starting with the number F. When I blend it here, the background, I a little bit cover it, the edge, the printed edge, that's it. Now I paint it well. It's nicely visible and this is a this is a bright shade brighter than the background and i will blend just a little bit while a uh, previous shade is still wet that's it and this edge is number three which is violet also oh it's a dark one Would be nice if today we will uh, complete flower. I don't know how long my son going to sleep today. Usually uh, he visiting kindergarten, but uh, last couple of days he got sneezing. My poor baby, and he's staying at home with mama with me number two is a pink light pink like this oh uh, i can't understand what color is it but i think it's light light pink mm -hmm. now I'm mostly looking here because uh, I already remember all shades I'm working with here on a flower. So maybe uh, with the green leaves I will need a checking list again to understand uh, what area and where I have. But uh, that's why I like to paint uh, object by object, not um, color by color, because you better new uh, shades, you're just starting to remember what shade, uh, what number, right? Uh, I don't need to even see number on a box and uh, I already can understand from the um, color, uh, color example here, what color I have to put on my work and here it's clear white of course it's uh, absolutely visible from my box i'm going to blend i'm going to blend here i think it's better looking with a little blending and i checked uh, different results for this uh, painting already too bad I can't uh, give you links right now, you know, to check how it's uh, 
looking with a different uh, how different people made it very interesting to check uh, nowadays when we have so many paint by number kits uh, I'm first checking the final results because most of the time uh, someone already worked with the uh, paintings that I'm interested in so I'm first checking uh, results in internet and only after I'm making my decisions do I want, do I really want to get it for myself or I better will look for something else because I like to work with uh, very nice bright colors I don't uh, want to mix anything by myself, you know if I'm working with a paint by number, I'm actually expecting the good quality of it. Maybe I'm too lazy, but you know what I'm waiting from uh, this kind of... Uh, I lost uh, this color, but I think it's F from here. I'm expecting a relaxing. I'm expecting... Uh, artistic evenings right uh, this feeling of artistic uh, evening time with my family when we can watch some movie uh, with my family to talk a little bit about uh, my piece of art I'm doing at the moment but I don't want to think how and uh, where to get uh, another shade, another colors and mix something if I don't like uh, shades in my kit. I had uh, already lots of uh, fun with uh, no name Chinese uh, paint by number kits. Don't want to repeat this experience with paint by number again right i like to paint by myself to create my own shades but i want to be ready for it you know to plan time for it okay our flower is done right very nice looking actually in this moment i'm usually cleaning um, everything around because of color going to change dramatically this is a green everywhere now mm, yes even this part it's a green here but uh, also I can see I have a little bit of red on the head of our bird here look this is red number four and I think I will complete it now. Number four. Maybe later in the end I'll show you how to put more details when we will complete all areas by numbers. I'll share with you how to create more details. Uh, and this number is number K. Let me check the uh, chart. Number K, it's 3 plus 4. So I have to take a little bit of violet. This shade is, four, uh, is K. And let's put K here. Here you have to be really accurate. Because areas so tiny. But again, later, when we will complete all the areas around here, we can put some very, very small feathers, you know, to make the uh, effect of feathers. Mm. Somehow I see another, or not, one, two... This is I have done, and this one too. That's it. 
head is done and probably would be smart also to complete head with a number 10 it's the darkest shade in my set set of colors I would be also happy to have a shade as a nail uh, polish or uh, maybe even a lipstick very pigmented look the same saturation uh, color as uh, we have number four I'm working now with a really very tip of the brush because areas here are small thin and I don't want to make any mistakes everyone will look on the bird especially on the head of the bird so here um, we have to be most careful with the details yeah areas here really really small i will think about to maybe get another brush i don't know if i will be able to paint here with this brush we will see we will see that's it it's a number no not really it's a number 10 also here Sorry guys, I can't talk when I'm working with the tiny, so tiny areas. I almost can't breathe. Ah, uh, this is done. And this one. It's so small, it's so easy to go out of the border. Oh, and another one here but this is the last one that's it that's it yes the head of bird also done and that's it for all reddish and uh, violets uh, area on our painting check this out this is the final result and this is what we have at the moment i think that's it for today because i really have to clean my brush look it's really red now it's have a red stock in it i have to clean it with a uh, soap i have to change water for sure and I, of course, have to clean my hands because next uh, shade we're going to work tomorrow. It's going to be all green. And I have to warn you because, look, I want to demonstrate to you. If you will take green and put it to red, it's giving so unpleasant, dirty and really really not funny shade it's almost brown right so uh we are going to be very careful we will prepare right for tomorrow right to work with the green leaves uh it was a painty cat uh, and uh, i see you tomorrow my dear friends bye bye have fun <laughs>